Hi guys, Todd here. Uh, today we're going to be having a look at something from Atmo Mechani, uh, the makers of the Nemesis 69, Dome, uh, oh god, and so many other bits and bobs. This is it here. This is a scythe. It's on top of the, the Nemi 30, the 30mm Nemesis. And right now I'm running this in hybrid mode because it's a rebuildable dripping atomizer and it does actually come with a hybrid adapter. It's also 510 threaded, but it comes with a hybrid adapter to put it straight on to the Nemesis, lose the top cap, and you get this sweet looking thing here. And excuse me while I get this, you can also line the logos up nice and easily. So you get that, which is beautiful. And uh, Right, how much does this cost? A hundred euros. Uh, that's straight from the atmomechani.gr website. Of course, as always, there are various other resellers across the globe that are uh, selling this. It's 304 grade stainless steel and you can run it in dual coil or quad coil and tell a lie, you can also run it in single coil if you wanted to. Uh, the thing that kind of sets this apart is, you know, it's going to hold a fair bit of juice. You'll get at least one and a half mils of juice in there. And the way the airflow works is kind of what sets this apart from your normal drippers. It does come in various editions and uh, it's a, yeah, they're all on the site. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. There's the Nix, the, the Matt, the, the Aether, Aether. Uh, and the shined and they're all the same price 100 euros and as always with the Atmel Mechani gear you know they include some 2.5 mil uh, silica there and we've also got some 0 0.20 canful and it all comes in the little Atmel Mechani bag and yes I'm saying Atmel Mechani a lot because I now know how to say that it's only taken me two and a half years or something like that I think without any further ado on this one, we shall go in for close-ups. Just to point out, I did get this free from review, free, free from review, free for review. Uh, just <laughs> let's go for it. Okay, let's let's start with the interesting stuff. This is the deck. Uh, now we've got four posts here, so you can run it in quad coil. And uh, if you excuse the the crappy coils, do you know what? I, these with coils were sent on to me, uh, not built, but the wire was, and it's some kind of funky, twisted, oh, I don't know, but uh, pretty low resistance. And, you know, for me, it's quite low anyway. I think it's about 0.3 or 0.4. Uh, now, hopefully you can see down here right down in there there's a big huge deep deck and you know you can well I should say and you can just cotton just sits in there and ah oh, so much juice and like I said I mean you're going to get one and a half mil of juice in there no problem at all now, the other thing that's sitting the other thing that sets this apart is the airflow as well but I'll come back to that in a second now to set it up it's really really easy you've got two positives in the middle here and two negatives on the outside and you've got huge holes in these posts and all Phillips head screws uh, so you can use like for example here I've just got two coils going on but I could have another two going in here as well and what happens is the air is drawn down into these channels here and the air comes shooting straight out of these channels bang onto your coil now when you're building this uh, the easiest thing to do is to build your coil higher um, you know because hopefully you can see here that the coil is sitting down inside the deck but when you actually build it you know just build it with the coil up here once you finish building it got your cotton through then just push the coil down and it'll sit inside here so this is uh, where the magic kind of happens uh, 
this is part of the top cap and you can see we've got two air holes going on here and inside here they come straight down and you can see it narrows in there so what happens is you line up your air holes and if I'm just running it in dual then I make sure that these holes are lining up with just one of these slots here and I just drop it down there push this cap down and when I inhale the air is drawn down these slots into the channel and straight out onto the coil and back up through here this is the top cap section uh, you can see you've got an o-ring here and that kind of holds it in place and hopefully you can see there's cutouts here so if I pop this down like so and you can see I've got two marks here which tie into the two holes here so turning this around you can tell when your airflow is fully open or fully closed or whatever setup you want to run it so right now I've got this hole here lined up with here but nothing happening on the other side so this would just be single airflow this would just be single air coming down this hole here if I turn the cap I've got the hole lined up here and the hole lined up on here that means that I'm going to have air coming down both holes you can turn this and you can adjust the amount of air that comes in and out we also have the, the sleeve uh, for the top cap which has the scythe on it there and this is totally independent so when I put this on you know I can spin this round so I can line this up with the logo on the Nemesis and it doesn't affect the airflow or anything like that so this spins independently of that and it's held on by an o-ring once again you know on the deck here we've got these two big o-rings uh, they are quite tight and it does make it a bit of a, a <laughs> an effort to get the the top cap off uh, also there's no way of you know like seeing inside here to see how much juice you've got going on without pulling this right off it's the only thing that i don't like um, i like to be able to you know be able to pull a top cap off or something and see inside but uh, because this holds so much juice it's, it's not that much of an issue underneath we have a, a little 510 here and this is reverse threaded and it is fully adjustable of course the reason that it has to be fully adjustable is for this big bad boy here this is your brass hybrid adapter and it just screws on like this on your 510 thread you then have this screw here that we'd use to tighten up the adapter and then you want to make sure that the uh, you know your positive post is sticking out I'm going to take my nemi and just screw this on until she goes down and that's it now I'm just going to put some cotton in here now the only thing I haven't pointed out is that the, you know the 510 pin is completely separate because this deck section here is held on by the there's two screws underneath my coils there hopefully you can just catch them there so that's why you have a fully adjustable 510 it's not going to muck about with uh, the positive posts so I'm cottoned up and uh, I'm all juiced up as well and uh, you know once again you know it's the usual don't stuff things with cotton this really does not need crammed full of cotton uh, I've not got much going on in here at all but remember the decks are really deep the only thing I've tried to maintain when doing this is where the channel is I like to keep the coil so that the air isn't is, is almost passing underneath not completely underneath like the bottom half of the coil is level with the uh, the channel here and it's the same on the other side for me I found that worked the best with flavor uh, just rather than pushing the coil right down so it's slap bang level with this but uh, let's have a little and that's our ready to go I know that these two holes here or not holes but indentations line up with the channels so I'm just going to get that lined up there and just pop 
pop that down. And remember, the scythe here is independent, so I can turn that round so it lines up with the logo. And I'm running dual coil, so I want to turn this top cap section here so that this bit lines up and this bit lines up with the two indentations here. Stick a top, stick a drip tip on and uh, good to go. Right, let's just have a little tidy up here. Um, right, I am looking for a drip tip. There it is. Pop it on. Now I'm vaping with a uh, Peachy Fields, uh, which is a six milligram heavy uh, VG liquid. I'll have a vape in this. Right, two to eight. I've really only come across one real big dripper that gave me flavour like uh, you get from a 22 or a 14 mil uh, dripper. That was the Behemoth by Diablo, which I absolutely adore. But it is, it's a Behemoth. This really does give off stunning flavour. Even on a, a low resistance that I have here, I'm still quite surprised by the quality of flavour that I'm getting out of this. You can set this up as a clip. It's not massive, massive airflow. It is on par with a lot of all the other cloud chasing stuff, but you can also adjust it so that it's tight. Uh, but to me, none of that, none of that matters. It's it's just. Yes, I can get clouds out of it, but damn, the flavour is just stunning. <laughs> I've been using this so much and I don't find it to be normal 26650 stuff. It, it's heavy, but it doesn't feel doesn't feel any worse than a, a, a carrying a box mod about with you. It's it's, but it's got that whole mechanical. I'm talking shite now, but uh, I fucking I tell you, I absolutely adore this. Now, it's not completely leak proof, but when, if you close the the holes off in the top, just spin it round a bit, then, you know, I've been over, been able to over drip with this and, uh, you know, not have to worry about juice pishing out everywhere from it. Uh, that's one thing I do like about this a lot. You know, your, your holes are away up here uh, at the top, so you're not going to get, unless you absolutely pour the juice in there, you won't have any issues. It does have a standard 510 connection, so you can use it on any mod you like, or you can use it as a hybrid on the Nemesis 30, which is where I think it belongs. I did get this free for review. Uh, now, it's no secret, I'm a huge fan of Atma Makani stuff, but I will always tell you if there's something that I don't like about it or I'm not a fan of. For me, I know that it would bugger up the design, but you know if you want to check or, uh, on your coils or whatnot, then cap is quite tight. But then that's a bonus in itself because that means that it's not going to leak juice everywhere. Um, if you want to run quad coil, getting the the holes lined up so that both those channels get air can be a bit uh, footery. Other than that, not a single complaint. Not one, not one. It's easy to build on. Uh, it looks beautiful. Vapes out of this world and the flavor is bang on. Of course, that's all gonna depend on builds and stuff like that. But I've found even with low resistances uh, and with the juice that I'm vaping just now, the flavor is spot on. Right, I've said that enough. I've got to shut up now. I'll have one last little vape. Stop 
doing that at six milligram as well. Uh, would I recommend this? If you have a 30 mil uh, 26650 out there, yes. If you have a Nemesis 30 mil out there, definitely. They did a good job in this one. They, they really did do a good job in this. You always wonder how they're going to, and I get this with drippers, I get, I'll be honest, I get so bored with three post drippers. Here's another three post dripper. Uh, what the hell are you going to say about it? Um, so it's always nice to see something that is just moving it forward. Just another little step, just a little quirk, something a little bit different. Uh, and it can't be easy for these guys to be coming up with new stuff. And I think they nailed it with this totally. Uh, I give this two thumbs up. Um, I have no issue recommending this to anybody at all. Thank you to Katerina and Michalis at Atma Mechani uh, for sending this on to me. Uh, to you guys, as always, thank you for watching. We'll catch you next time. Cheers.